In today's video, we're going to take a look at the requirements that Audica Electrical and Inventor need when, um, when linking the two through the electromechanical link setup. So first of all, I'm just going to go into my Audica Electrical and just uh, and what you can see over here is I've put down some connectors. So these connectors have got pins with their pin numbers. So you'll see there's one to nine, one to nine, and one to five. Those pin numbers are crucial in events. So if I come to my components over here, you'll notice I've got these connectors over here. If I right click and open, what I've done is I've created those points over there. And that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 uh, will basically link up with the pin numbers inside, um, inside Autica Electrical. So if I had to now name this 10, 11, 12, 13, no, then I would have to then also go and rename these pin numbers to 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, etc. So that the two could talk to each other because when it does do the wiring, it looks for the exact pin number. Now, if you want to know how to put the pin number in, uh, make sure that under your show panels, you've got this harness uh, panel ticked and it will come up over here. I select pin, you click where you want it to be and there's your pin number, so number 10. I'm not going to do that. Um, and let's just close this down and go back to the assembly over here. Now, uh, with this, we need to go and set up our electromechanical link. Now, I like to do it from Audica Electrical. Most of my work is coming from there. Uh, but before I do that, I'm just going to go wire this up and make sure I've got some wire numbers in and everything's good. So with that, I'm going to go to my schematic and use my multiple bus. Now, uh, when I do this, I'm going to select those up over there and bring it over. Now, one thing I need to make sure is that the, the name of the layer or the wire layer here is exactly the same as the name of the wire inside Inventor. So if I press T for wire type, you'll notice there I've got your blue underscore 18AWG, red underscore 16AWG, and GRN underscore 14AWG. And now what I've done is I've created the same wires inside Inventor so that the two can talk to each other. I'm going to make this blue, so K, F, flipping it around so it doesn't cross over, and there we go. Let's go do another one, so multiple bus, and we're going to go from another bus, another component, sorry, bring it across, T for wire type, we're going to make this red, and then bring it across, and then let's just do the last one, so I'm going to go and from another component, let's just go to those four, T for wire type, and then make these the green ones, okay. So once I've done that, um, let's just go save this quickly, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my wire numbers. So let's just go pick individual wires, there we go, so now it puts the wire numbers down for me as well. So I know that the wire number 1 will go from the component X2 from pin 1 to component X3 to pin 1. And this one, wire number 9, goes from component X1 from pin 5 to X3 to pin number 9. Now, another thing to help me just organize my components is to put in a location for these components. So if I right-click and edit, you'll notice that the, the location is empty. Now, if I look at drawing, I don't have any location data in here. So what I'm going to do is select, and let's go put it as... 102 train. Okay. So this just helps me now um, just uh, organize my um, components. So there we go 102 train. And 102 train. Okay. Now to see what's going on there, if I click on location view, you'll see there. Uh, there's one, uh, one training, and there's my um, electrical components, X1, X2, X3. If I look at that, you'll see there's my pin numbers over there as well. Now, you'll see there's no connections over here yet because I haven't created the electromechanical project. So let's take a look at it. So let's go to electromechanical, select electromechanical link. I want to create one. I don't want to link, so I haven't created any. So create, give it a name, 102 train. Specify the shared folder with both the guy using um, 
Inventor and AutoCAD Electrical will be able to find it. So let's go to Inventor and Vault. And then click on Create. All right, tells me congratulations. So what have I got over here? I've got my link file path. I've got my electromechanical link file name, the shared folder, and then the name of the AutoCAD Electrical project, but no Inventor project because I haven't linked it from the other side. And link conflict resolution preference, I want AutoCAD Electrical to push information into Autodesk Inventor. Okay, so I click on close here. So now let's go off to our uh, Inventor. So in Inventor over here, let's go to Electromechanical Link Setup. Okay. I'm just going to... link this so we go to you can either create a link or we're going to go link to sun there's my 102 train click on open and there we go so it tells me it's linking to the inventor a cat e w d p and the name of the inventor sub is the cabinet 09 and i want to push information from autica electrical to inventor okay so once that's done if i click on the location view over here we'll see that it has now started to put in this information over here. So, okay, this isn't quite what I want. So if you go to my electrical properties, you'll see there it's, it's picking up an old location. I'm gonna say, right, you know what? That needs to go into my 102 train. So that's the one that we've just created. So it's very quick and easy to go to these properties and then just go make sure that we uh, change these uh, properties over here, okay. Now what we've got is we need to now and go make sure that the X1, X2, and X3 are connected to my X1, X2, and X3 components over here. So select my electrical component, right-click, and assign to existing and assembly. Okay. It then will link it, so you'll see there's a little green chain, okay, but it's got a little exclamation mark in red. But this tells me that there are some differences still which I need to go and sort out a little bit later okay assigned to existing and that components over there okay so it's still saying great there's some discrepancy so let's see what it is okay i think it is the y numbers now just to show you um, okay we'll show you just now but let us go to right click on the link now and it gives me the option now to create connection it tells me I'm going to create a new harness assembly. I can give it my own name if I want to, where it's going to save, and I say yes. So here we go. It now starts to put my wires in with the colors that I specified. And that's because I created the wires in my, um, in my inventor model. Now, what you'll notice is the little red exclamation marks have disappeared, which means now that, that everything is, is good to go. Okay. So, just to show you where those those 16AWG was, the green, red, and blue, if I look at my cable and harness library, I can see here the, is all the different wires I've got, but these are the ones that I specifically created so that it could link and talk to my AutoCAD electrical. Okay. So, once that's done, I can go create segments. And with those segments over there, I can bring it up there so that everything can get right click finish. And then I'm just going to create one segment over here for this component over here so the wires can come through okay so once that's been created okay that's not a very good one but uh, we can just leave live with that um, and then i can automatically route all unrooted wires okay and then it puts all my wires in there for me so you can see there it's come up to these components and it's been wired all the way over there now one of the um the one of the benefits of doing it this way is now is that we've got, um, uh, you know, we can do a bit of materials. So in normal AutoCAD Electrical, if I had to do this, what we will find is we will not get these wire lengths over here. 
Okay, and then you can see there, there are my wire links, which I can then use for uh, procurement. Okay. So there we go. So I've basically gone off to my um, Audica Electrical. I've created the, um, the electromechanical file. Um, I've made sure that my location view is, or my locations are, you know, have been put in so that I can actually uh, work between the two. And you'll see that I've been able to get my wire links out of Inventor from Audica Electrical. Thank you very much for watching.